Hey guys, here's the video on classification of nerve fibers. I have got you both classifications that are numerical and the name based that is the type of fiber based and I have got you the differences between muscle spindle and Golgi tendon organ and there are a few other things regarding the nuclear back fibers, chain fibers that you need to know. Uh, let's learn each thing one step at a time. So firstly let us learn about Erlanger Gasser classification and the second one is numerical or Lloyd and Hans classification. So first one Erlanger Gasser is about the name, the type of fiber it is. See there are A, B and C fibers. A and B are myelinated which are shaded in yellow color whereas C is non-myelinated as written here. And since the myelination is there in only A and B, the diameter of A is greater than diameter of B greater than C. So the diameter and velocity of conduction decreases as we go down. So A greater than B greater than C is for diameter and velocity because diameter depends upon the myelin sheath around the nerve fiber, right? And the velocity also depends on the nodes of runway, number of nodes of runway. So in non-myelinated, you don't have that fast conduction. So that is the slowest velocity, least velocity. So it is written in the last. C is written in the last. Now coming to Erlanger Gasser classification. In type A, you again have three types like A alpha, A beta, A gamma and A delta. In A alpha, there is alpha motor neuron. The name itself tells it is somatic motor, right? Alpha motor neuron. So it is motor. And second in the division of alpha is proprioception which is sensory. So alpha has both. One is motor and one is sensory. Coming to beta. Beta is about fine touch, deep pressure and vibration. So here guys you need to know one thing. That beta is all about the uh, corpuscles and the uh, Merkel discs and all that we learned. right? So we have learned about corpuscles which are Meissner's and Passinian corpuscle and we also learned it Merkel's and Ruffini's in the previous video of physiology right I have taught you everything like where the location of these uh, corpuscles is and what is their function so coming to the corpuscles it was about vibration right so here in beta you have all these uh, vibration related like vibration is for Passinian and Meissner's corpuscle whereas pressure deep pressure is for Ruffini's nerve ending and fine touch this is for that Bailey script that is Merkel's right so all these corpuscles and Merkel's and Ruffini's all those things comes under beta just remember like all the examples of Merkel's Ruffini's and Passinian corpuscles Meissner's corpuscle are discussed under beta Coming to gamma, have to remember gamma meaning, see gamma you write like G-A-M-M-A that is motor to muscles. So there are two M's, motor to muscle spindle is gamma. So in the name itself you can derive that motor to muscle spindle is gamma. Coming to delta, delta is fast pain and cold. So these are the uh, types of senses these fibers carry. So A alpha is alpha motor neuron and proprioception. Beta is all about Merkel's Meissner's and Gamma is MM that is motor to muscle spindle and Delta is fast pain and cold. Coming to B, it is pre-ganglionic sympathetic whereas C is post-ganglionic. So first comes pre and then comes post. So B is pre-ganglionic whereas C is post-ganglionic sympathetic. Uh, when we discuss about the uh, type of senses that this B and uh, C carry, these are like autonomic uh, sensations. So, one, one thing that we need to know in all these fibers like A alpha to C is that there are two fibers which are purely motor. So, they are gamma and B. Have to remember this means, I have already told that in the name gamma, you have motor to muscle spindle, right? Motor to muscle spindle. So, in the name itself, you have motor term. So, it is purely motor. And pre-ganglionic sympathetic, remember it like pure ganglionic sympathetic like you just insert a u in this pre so that it gets pure so purely motor are two one is a gamma and the other one is b these two are purely motor this is important because in the next classification that is numerical one it is all about only sensory fibers so in this classification you should not involve the motor fibers so the purely motor ones that is 
A gamma and B are not involved in this classification and rest all you can just number them. So A alpha is 1, then beta is 2, gamma is motor right, mm, so that is excluded and delta is 3, again B is pre that is pure and C is 4. So this is the numerical classification. So they usually ask you the question which is not involved in the numerical classification of nerve fibers that is A gamma and B are not involved or not included in that classification. And coming to the C fibers, it has uh, many things that it carries, like many senses it uh, carries. One is slow pain and dull pain. See, the fast pain is for A delta, whereas C is for slow pain. In the previous video, I have discussed the differences between A delta and C also. These are called as nociceptor fibers. So, A delta is about fast pain and first pain, whereas C is about dull pain. And we have discussed about the uh, neurotransmitters also uh, for A delta and uh, C fibers. So that was uh, done in the previous video guys. So you can go check there once. Uh, the differences between A delta and C are already discussed. And rest, other, other senses that it carries are uh, crude touch, temperature cold and warmth and itch and tickle. So whereas A delta fibers it was only for cold right. It was only cold whereas C is for both combined. Combined warm and cold both combined temperatures and uh, you can remember like uh, there are two types of touch now so one is fine touch and the other is crude touch so crude is for c fiber whereas fine touch is beta so fine touch was related to merkel's described so merkel cells fine touch so it is beta so that way uh, this table is completed guys which describes about all the types of senses carried by different nerve fibers now let us discuss in detail about uh, 1A and 1B. So in the Lloyd's classification, this one is divided into 1A and 1B. 1A is regarding muscle spindle, whereas 1B is for Golgi tendon organ. So firstly, this is for stretch reflex, which is called as myotactic reflex, whereas 1B is inverse stretch reflex or lengthening reaction. So how to remember this entire table means uh, in any synapse or in any reflex it is like firstly there will be a receptor. So firstly you will have a receptor right. There is a receptor and it uh, carries that stimulus and that stimulus goes to the spinal cord and from spinal cord the re receptor to spinal cord the connection is afferent and from spinal cord to the organ or the sense where it should uh, reach to that is effector nerve right so this is an arc stimulus carried by a receptor efferent spinal cord and efferent so that is discussed here so it goes like stimulus is stretch for muscle spindle remember like s is for stretch reflex and receptor is muscle spindle and efferent is 1a and 2 and the center is spinal cord for both whereas efferent is alpha motor neuron and that results in muscle contraction whereas Coming to the Golgi tendon organ reflex that is inverse stretch reflex or the lengthening reflex. So tendon is T-E-N right. So the stimulus is tension. Tendon is tension and it is obvious that receptor is Golgi tendon organ and efferent is 1B. Efferent is alpha motor neuron same here. But here alpha motor neuron gets activated that causes contraction. Here it is inhibited which causes relaxation. So relaxation that meaning lengthening right. So when, it, when a muscle is contracted it becomes shortened. When it is relaxed that is lengthening reaction. And coming to uh, myotactic or the stretch reflex it is monosynapse whereas Golgi tendon is disynaptic. So these are the important differences that you know to know between 1A and 1B which is muscle spindle and Golgi tendon organ. So here I have got uh, a small uh, compilation of all these spinal reflexes here. So there are four types that you need to know. Stretch is for S that is spindle, muscle spindle and inverse stretch is for Golgi tendon organ. Whereas mass reflex is seen in paraplegia patients and polysynaptic reflex is seen when you touch a hot object. The ipsilateral limb flexes whereas the contralateral one extenses. So that is the polysynaptic reflex. So these are the four kinds of spinal reflexes. These are just the names that you need to know among which stretch and inverse stretch are discussed in detail. Now coming to the muscle structure as proper. So here are few things that you need to know. Firstly, let us understand this diagram. In a muscle, you have the Golgi tendon 
and the extra fusel uh, fibers and the intrafusal or the muscle spindle. So these are the three different structures in a muscle. Golgi tendon as already discussed it is 1B carried by 1B right in this table 1B. Whereas uh, these extra fusel fibers the motor supply is by A alpha. For the muscle spindle as already discussed for the muscle spindle it was gamma right motor to muscle spindle is gamma so A gamma. So here you have A gamma is for muscle spindle whereas A alpha is for extra fusel fibers both of a contraction of the muscle only. A gamma motor to muscle spindle M and M. So when we elaborate or expand this portion that is intrafusal portion you have two type of fibers one is bag and the other is chain this straight line. So nuclear bag fibers and chain fibers. Nuclear bag has both kind of things B for B that is both that is dynamic and static whereas nuclear chain is only static in nature. Now coming to dynamic, dynamic is something uh, related to motion right. So it uh, senses the rate of change of muscle length whereas static just uh, rates the steady strength of the muscle. Only steady strength is detected whereas for dynamic it is about rate of change of the muscle length. So uh, for all these things uh, the motor supply is by uh, A gamma, A gamma dynamic whereas if it is static, A gamma static and A gamma static that is easy and for everything uh, 1A is sensory. For all types of fibers, 1A is sensory. And here comes the important role of uh, two fibers. Number two fiber is for static only. So remember like there is a, uh, see there is a, uh, let, let us discuss about the type also. See the first one is called as 1A is annulospiral. A is for A, 1A is for annulospiral ending. Whereas uh, for static, you have this two right. So this is called as flower spray ending guys. So there you have you can see also that it is ending like this. So it is like a flower spray ending. Flower spray ending is for two fibers. Whereas the spiral rotation spiral rotation is for one A. A is for annular spiral ending. So this is nuclear dynamic, nuclear back static and nuclear chain static. So remember like uh, here I have drawn a diagram which shows a flower which is static which is just standing still there and you are spraying the water to the flower. So here the, this entire story is about type 2 fibers which are having flower spray ending. Okay, So flower spray ending is for type 2 fibers and this type 2 comes only in static. So remember like stat this comes only in static type 2 fibers is for static whereas everything has 1A and motor to everything is A gamma that depends whether it is dynamic or static. So This is uh, regarding the muscle fibers the classification and the important points that you need to know. Usually we tend to confuse here guys nuclear bag static dynamic and all so I have got this simple flowchart kind of thing for you so it's easier to remember. Uh, now help me in uh, like completing this empty spaces so fine touch fine touch is by which fibers guys so you also think and i'll reveal the answer in a second or two so fine touch is all about merkel cells merkel's meissner's pacinia's was all about a beta right so that thing coming to crude touch it was about c so type c that is post ganglionic fibers these are unmyelinated fibers cold cold is for d delta as well as c because c is for combined right it has warmth and cold whereas warmth is only c coming to motor to muscle spindle so m and m that is gamma motor to muscle spindle and purely motor so purely motor are two right one is this one gamma which is motor to muscle spindle purely motor and pure for pre p r and e that is pre ganglionic p ganglionic meaning b fibers autonomic fibers so they usually ask you the questions like this only like cold senses are carried by which fibers a beta carries which senses and purely motor or what and c fibers carries both warmth and cold so these are just the fact based questions that they ask you from this topic so I think I have covered uh, everything from here and please solve the questions from this topic. This is an easy classification actually. We have a few mnemonics here and there. So 
Thank you.